Today I am going to try my hand at an organic synthesis and make ammonium manganese three pyrophosphate. An extremely vivid violet pigment. This synthesis must be held near 100C for 50 minutes and then near 200C for 100 minutes. This will be achieved using a hot oil bath. After the oil is added, a 250 milliliters beaker is submerged inside. Heat and stirring were switched on. Now I am going to add three parts ammonium phosphate to one part manganese dioxide. These reactants are placed in a mortar and thoroughly crushed together. The reactants are now transferred to our reaction beaker, along with another three parts 90% phosphoric acid. After this, the remainder of the process is to simply maintain the heat at stable levels for the required intervals of time. Periodic stirring is also required. At first we simply have a dark black goo. At 75 C you begin to see faint bubbling. C is held for 50 minutes and a bit of purple product can be seen. As we approach our final temperature, the bubbling gets more extreme. At 200 C it has taken on the consistency of molasses. This is the consistency of hot pyrophosphates. After 88 minutes at 200 C, the reaction mixture froze into a solid chunk. This can be fixed by adding more phosphoric acid, but I feel the reaction is done anyway. The reaction vessel is pulled out of the oil and allowed to cool. This is going to have to be to parts. Follow to see the final product. Now that my reaction has cooled down, I am going to dissolve, purify, and dry my product. Pyrophosphates react with water to form soluble phosphates, which should free our pigment from this solid brick. As it dissolves, the violet color becomes increasingly pronounced. I admit scraping it off the sides is quite tedious. Eventually, I just put it on the hot plate to stir. Here it is in water. This is a very strong pigment and forms large particles which should make filtration easy. The color index for this pigment is PV16 for you artists out there. Finally, I just need to vacuum filter my pigment. I'm using a very small Buckner funnel for this in order to form thick slabs of the pigment. It's a slow process, but the best way to do this. Finally, I've got a solid chunk of manganese violet. I try to get every last bit. It was tough to make after all. And here we are left with our final product, manganese violet. I think this is a beautiful and organic pigment. Follow for more. 
and let me know if there's any other colors you'd like to see.